Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deandra. Hey, happy birthday to you. Down to the dent. Okay, why are we not recording? There we go. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Travis from Crew Gear. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, so good morning, everybody. Hi. It's been a while since I've made a video, and um, I thought I'd do that. Uh, I do that this morning for a little while and break into at least a moderate semblance of character as you guys all kind of remember me. Uh, although I'll be discussing something a little bit different than the usual Becker Twan nonsense, so let's just take that off. And uh, that being said, uh, what we're going to be talking about really briefly is this. And yeah, that's the glove. Um, and uh, without getting into too much detail, if I can hang this fucker up here. Um, Obviously, I let uh, I let the details of, of its origin uh, be made public. I made it public. It just hangs there for a minute. And um, yeah, so you know, there it is. And without getting into all the gory details, look, I I, I was I, literally, and if you caught my post on this uh, beforehand. Um, you know, when I was contacted to do it, I was I was in the middle of my move. Um, I had a box of scrap. I didn't even have supplies. Uh, you know, my cameras. I didn't even have supplies really to work with. I had to come up with something fast. I agreed to do it because, frankly, um, they needed something really interesting, and um, I, I had some semblance of gear that I could I could kit bash something together. I, I I put some serious thought into it, and there was quite a bit of back and forth with uh, Andrew, with the director in terms of what he was looking for, but he really, aside from the blades, 
uh, which were kind of his one, that was one thing that he really wanted on there, so I had to create those blades, uh, which were like long, kind of, um, almost surgical, uh, back-ended tools of some sort. He really wanted them to look surgical and needle-like, and I, you know, so that was, that was fine. But everything else on the glove, I mean, he had this one antique piece of reference that he brought that I basically copied, and I hand ground right down from the Shakespeare's, uh, and burned, and, and, and uh, torched, and, and marred, and nicked, and weathered, and all that stuff, and, and uh, the teasers that, that were posted of that one blade, I took those shots as well, uh, in that basement, which is my basement out in um, Jersey City, uh, those, were, those were the actual, uh, the, the template that I made, that I then created all the other blades for. And aside from that, the design was pretty much left up to me. Uh, he really fought me on the hinge, I, I gotta be honest. He didn't fight me on too much. I mean, Andrew, look, Andrew was really great to deal with. Unfortunately, I just, you know, I think in sometimes in life we all have to go through our, our growing pains and, and, you know, we decide what we can do and what we can't do. And, and for whatever reason, he decided, you know, um, I don't even know what his decision was. All I know is that the production went quiet. So I, you know, um, I extricated myself from it um, until he was ready to proceed. Uh, never, never having uh, fully, uh, uh, you know, um, disbanded. Uh, but I never got an answer to that. So as far as I know, the production is dead. Um, if Andrew ever comes around and, and wants to go forward, he's got a huge fan base, and myself and others really tried to, you know, make that fact hit home that he really had, you know, lightning in a bottle with this thing. It was amazing. And, and John Watkins, the lead actor, was amazing. It was just, it was, it was, it could have been so very good. So there's this footage that, that, you know, we've all seen, this little, I think it was a 30 second trailer. And then there's footage that he actually shot. I'm not speaking for him, I'm speaking from what I know. There's footage that, that Andrew actually shot that never saw the light of day. And I was contacted because he wanted to do the full-length feature and he wanted to get funding for it, a full-length fan feature, and use the original footage as the money-making vehicle to get that done or, or the, you know, the investment in time, manpower, what have you. Anybody who wanted to come on, he was going to use that as the pitch, as far as I know. Sorry, Andrew, this is all. As far as I understood the conversation, you're not you know, really here to, to talk about it. So, um... That was kind of the plan, from what I knew. And so that production, which would have been the official Son of a Hundred Maniacs fan film for which this glove up here was made uh, uh, by me um, as, as, as a donation, basically, uh, and, and, and inclusion of me as mechanical effects engineer, much like Jim Doyle or Luke Carlucci. Uh, that was my stipulation. That's how I wanted to be involved, should it go forward. And uh, that's how it went. So, um, you know, built the glove. And I have a lot of footage of it. I have a lot of, uh, you know, behind the scenes video uh, and photo footage, uh, reams of it. Uh, some of it is actually on my old Blackberry. I've got to take it into, into the tech guy um, because it's on my old Blackberry and I no longer use it, but it is in there on the memory card. Uh, it's just a matter of, I guess, getting it pulled out. And I have, you know, I have some stuff um, also online currently and, and a few emails and here and there. Uh, and I have a video um, that is pretty neat and I, I, I treated it much like a behind the scenes featurette with, um, with uh, you know, all my usual editing uh, panache and uh, even put some, uh, some nightmare music on it because I never thought it would see the light of day. I made it strictly for Andrew. So only a very few people have ever even seen it. I think it's I think five people have seen it, and it's on a private unlisted link, and it's uh, I think eight minutes long. Shows off the glove pretty nicely. It's the screen grabs that I posted uh, of uh, of John wearing it came from that. So you know, um, what can I say? Uh, brings us forward to uh, where we are now. And where we are now is that, I've, I've, look, I've had, first of all, anybody who's even interested in this thing, thank you. Because it, it, was, it was the only custom job I ever did. The job I was tasked with was, and, 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 and I think I, I achieved it to a mod moderately successful degree because somebody actually commented on it 
you know, the, the, the methodology and, and kind of the MO, the modus operandi that I was looking for to create this thing, which was to really do two things. One, to make it look like it fit into the series itself. Uh, and two, not this, this was a soft reboot as far as I know. This, is, this film was supposed to be canon. And it was supposed to be the darkest thing you'd ever seen in your life. The thing that the fans had been clamoring for. The real prequel to who this dude was. And this was going to be the precursor to the hero glove from the original series, as far as I understood. Uh, in original canon from the first Nightmare on Elm Street. And uh, you know, so this would have been the, the, for, uh, the forebearer to this. Um, so this was his. This was this was Kruger's first real attempt at knocking something together, and it and so it had to have. I, I threw into this thing um, um, little you know nods of the head, little tips of the hat, and homages to the original. Um, I, I, I you know I treated the entire thing as as a crude, rudimentary first attempt at what Kruger would actually then create. Um, so it's his test run, but it was a workable test run, and it was going to get some use, a lot of it. And it was pretty gnarly, and I wanted it to be gnarly, but I really wanted it to look like scrap, like he, you know, this was, this was what he finally had put it together in his head of what he was going to do. Hadn't figured out the mechanics of it quite yet, and he wasn't really one for drawing, so he just bashed this thing together with what he had. Surgical knives, um, you know, uh, from perhaps, uh, you know, a hospital, uh, burned out hospital in, in, in town or what have you, um, or something that he found in, in an old room. Uh, but the pipe and everything else, and, and, and I didn't, you know, I, I thought, would he have all these cutting materials? I thought, no, he'd probably have, a, you know, he'd probably have some kind of cutting thing, but probably really rusty. He'd probably need a grinder. So a lot of this, I, I built these templates you can see behind me. If you want to grab those, go ahead, because they're, you don't know which templates they are, and you certainly don't know um, how they were altered, but those were my two starting. Uh, and the entire glove is basically, gr you know, a good majority of it is ground. It, uh, it's, it's a grind job. I ground that out of my grinder after I kit bashed a bunch of parts to it. So even when you're looking at the knuckles, it's not just one knuckle piece. There's a knuckle piece with uh, with an elbow joint and 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 you know an extension of, of another piece soldered on just to make it. I mean, there's so it's really kit bash. I really went the route of the uh, the Star Wars school of creating something cool, which is to take guts on the outside and pin the shit together. You know what I mean? Solder it, weld it, the whole nine yards, burn it. And, uh, and and hammer it and dent it. I mean, there's so much going on. You want to talk about dents? I mean, I threw uh, the kitchen sink. Uh, you know, one finger is nothing like the other. Uh, the pinky has three separate joints to it. If you can, if you include the hinge, it's a three jointed mechanism, and it extends. It extends out. It extends in. And there's a reason for that. Um, fuck the pinky, as as Andrew wanted to call it. We were, we were going to have T-shirts called "Fuck the Pinky" because everybody has problems with the pinky. He really thought about the glove genre. You know what I mean? There was a lot of thought that went into this, so he really wanted me to just mess that pinky up. Um, I mean, the the tip housing is actually bolted to the outside. All the tips overextend, uh, hyperextend completely back. Yeah, um, they're not all on the outside, but but the pinky is. But they all, I mean, they all. This whole glove does so many weird things, and it's and it's made in such a way. Um, and it's bolted and, and different bolts on the knuckles and, and the hinge the hinge itself the mechanism there's so much going on under there there's there's an exposed piece of the back plate there's there's you know welded bolts to the side there's a there's an internal tooth uh, tooth mechanism and and it's pancaked and it's elevated you know I mean this was this was a major undertaking even though it was a kit bash deal um, so, you know, there you have kind of what went into this thing. And on that note, we're getting long here. I, you know, I've been asked, I've been asked a lot uh, uh, about it, and, and these are the questions that I'm getting. Question number one is, will I sell it? So let me, let me answer the questions that I'm getting. Number one, will I sell this glove? No, I will not sell this glove. Um, 
and and there are many reasons why I won't. It is it is you know it's 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 very personal to me. It, it is a one off. It is one of a kind. It is the original. It was built by me. I have all the specs. I have the original drawings. I have the signed poster from Andrew. I mean, this is like a part of my little contribution, even though it never made screen time out there. It has a bit of a following and people know it and it's got lore and it's it's just, no. It will never ever be sold. I mean, it would have to be, and nobody's gonna pay what I would sell it for. If I ever even considered it, it would be an ungodly amount of money. It would be a real collector money. And that's not gonna happen. So no, that stays with me. Second question is, will I, will I replicate them? Um, uh, you know, you guys know my stance on replicating gloves at this point. I don't do it. I do it for clients who are outstanding and I'm almost done with that. Thank you guys. Um, and they're slowly, you know, coming to a, to a close, those builds. Uh, and I've always kind of bandied this about, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the future. I'm sure I'll make one or two gloves out there in the next 20 years. I, you know, who knows, but it's never going to be ever. Krugier's done uh, for that. Krugier is now a, a mausoleum. You know, it's a museum. Um, days of future past. Uh, will I replicate this glove to sell? No, I won't. Um, that is to say, I will not create a production line uh, at this time, and 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 that is that is steadfast. I'm doing too many other things. I've got too many irons on the fire, and this is just you know, it's just not what I do. Um, oh, I still love the craft, clearly. Um, is that to say I will never replicate it? Let me tell you something. Uh, I have the original templates, but like I said, it's a complete grind job, eyeballing. I have all the dimensions and how things work, and, and I have visual reference. Can I can I duplicate it? Of course, absolutely, I can, and it'll be screen accurate. Uh, it'll have some nuances because of the way it was built. So you know the grinds. You know you'll have a different grind angle on some things, but for in all intents and purposes, it'll it'll be the same thing. I remember how I did it, and, and I have video. I shot video when I was doing it. Uh, will so will I ever replicate? Or so could I? Yes, I could do it. Will I ever replicate it? Uh, the nice thing, the beauty thing about this thing also is if anybody were to ever get their hands on it, you cannot disassemble this glove uh, because I welded the bolt uh, fittings. They're all, they're all, or they're soldered. They're all completely, yeah, you can't, you can never take this glove apart, ever. Psh, 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 I made sure of that. Uh, so, but I, again, I, I can, I can, I've got all the pieces and, and these are two of them. So um, and I've got a few more uh, and know-how, clearly. Um, will, getting back to the question, will I ever replicate these for sale? Look, I'm 43, I'm not dead, almost 44, and there's a little, you know, universe willing, there's there's a lot of time left in my years on, on the planet to make something weird. Uh, you know, who's to say? Maybe one day? I don't know. Uh, but not right now. So is there a chance that I'll ever replicate that glove? Sure, there's a chance that I'll, I'll, I'll replicate a hero again for sale someday, I'm sure, as a goof. You know, maybe I'll show up at a convention sometime with like five, five gloves and go, hey, because that was the original plan. I was going to go out with a bash. I was going to have this huge, you know, uh, you know, surprise. Hey, here I am. Here's some gloves. Anybody want one? Um, but who knows if that's ever going to happen. Uh, so, hey, I may. I may surprise you all. Um, doubtful. Anyway, look, uh, so in the realm of possibility, I know I'm being cheeky, I really don't see it happening, but you know, it's strange things have. Um, so there's, there, there's that holdout chance that you always want, you know, you always want to hold out and go, well, you know, at 15 minutes, 43 seconds talking about this, do you, you know, I would like to have the option, let's just say that. If somebody wanted to come to me and say, hey, I, you know, you did that thing 10 years ago, I've always wanted it, could you make me one? And I would go, well, it's gonna take me two fucking weeks to do it, and it's gonna be blah, 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 and they don't care, and if they've got the scratch, you know, the actual money, and I don't leave the house anymore for less than $1,200. So, uh, you know, bear that in mind. And I am getting offers, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I'm getting offers on the glove, and, and, you know, it was very gracious, and, and, and it's a lot of money, you guys. You know, the guys who have offered to, to buy this thing from me right off the, off the wall, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're shit, you're offering me some good money, but it's not any kind of money I would ever consider. So, sorry. Um, and you can agree with it or not. That's just, that's just my worth. So, um, I would like the option one day of maybe having the, the, the luxury and, and, and the, the freedom to build one and, and, you know, maybe have, have somebody have it down the road one day, somebody who really, really wants it. 
really wants it? So that's the, that's the answer to that question. Uh, and it kind of bleeds into the third question. And this is the question I've been asked by a couple of Gov guys. Will I give my blessing or my, my permission, which is really sweet because I've always said this, you know, you guys are going to do this anyway, or some of you will do it anyway. You know, it, it, it's like me, it, it was, and I said this in a video yesterday, it's like me being Luke Carlucci and saying, you can't replicate this glove. It's the fucking Nightmare on Elm Street glove. You're all going to replicate it. Go for it. You know, that's, 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 you know, that's reality. You're going to do it. So, you know, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I'm not going to sit here and say, no, you can't do it. I'm not one of those guys. You know what I mean? Um, am I going to, uh, am I going to, what's the word I'm looking for? Am I going to, uh, get behind that effort? No. <laughs> no, are you out of your mind? Come on, it's my baby. Um, am I gonna sit there and be a jerk about it? Of course not. You're gonna do it if you're gonna do it. For those of you asking my permission to do it, what I have to say is this, and I have to do this, because you know it does have some inherent value to it, and so does, believe it or not, so does my name at this point, it still does. Uh, I can't, you know, in all good conscience, conscience, I, I, I would love to say, yeah, man, go for it. And in one respect, I kind of am. You know what I mean? So I don't think I'm going to get pissy if I see one floating around. I'll probably go, hmm, I wonder if, okay. Well, I didn't get that, but wow, they really, they really figured that out. That's kind of probably how it's going to be. So under that regard, if I happen to see one that you're trying to make, am I going to uh, officially condone it and say it's okay and it's approved? No, absolutely not. Am I going to go, oh, well, you kind of figured that out? Yeah, absolutely I will. So that's my take on it. Um, so you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. That's the best I can do. I can't, I can't pretend that it doesn't have value and my name attached to it having value in the future if I ever decide to put one out. I can't. So to see a bunch of, of quote unquote my gloves, and it's very hypocritical, I know, floating around the market being sold, which is not even really my glove, which is not even really Andrew's glove, which, you know, it's, it, this thing belongs to, you know, fucking New Line and Time Warner, if you want to know the truth. Uh, you know, in any kind of you know, realm beyond fandom, um, were to start selling and making money, which it's not. So it doesn't mean belong to me. You know what I mean? It's somebody else's concept. We were all doing somebody else's thing. Um, so to ask me permission, I don't know. It's, it's a little, I, I get it. I, I dig it. I really dig it. Um, I, I personally know I cannot condone. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and call you an asshole for doing it either. You know, I'm going to be like, oh, wow, cool. You know, cool. But okay. On that note, will I provide the reference for it? No. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Come on. I can't. I, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to give you guys some stuff. I'm going to give you guys some stuff if you want it, and maybe give you uh, you know something new to to Jones about to to obsess over. Great, awesome. That's really cool for me, right? So I'll give all what I will do. I'm not going to post all the reference. There's a few things out there, I, I, and I, there are a couple good ones that I may give you. Um, and 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 at least one person has a picture that I that I sent them uh, of this thing, and they know who they are. Uh, and it should, you know, the stuff I've shown was very specific. I gave you a top shot, man, and you have a you have a bit of a bottom shot. You don't have the side shot. You don't have this side shot. You really don't know how all this works. Um, but it's enough to get you guys going on a on a pretty decent, you know, attempt. So, you know, I'll be interested to see what you guys do. Uh, on that note, uh, again, you know, can I provide reference? No, because I mean, look, man, I mean. You know, it took, how many years did it take Becker, and not to compare it to the original, because I'm trying not to, but it's kind of in that vein of one-offs um, and, and uniqueness. I mean, you know, it took, it took Becker years, and I'm surprised he released the photos that he did, and photos that I'm sure he didn't realize were out there uh, getting released, um, that I have, that a lot of other people have. And he's been really, really cool about it, uh, but he's still very protective of certain angles of that glove, right? So I, I think I have earned that, at least. So that's the answer to all the queries. I know it was long, but there was a lot to discuss, so... Uh, this is Travis signing off. Thanks for the interest. And um, guys who are waiting for gloves, I'll be getting a hold of you soon. You got some shipments going out, hopefully, right before Halloween. Okay, take it easy.